guys, welcome back. My name's Nathan, and today I'm going to be discussing 2022 draft prospect Shane Wright and him dominating the OHL as a 15 year old. Now, Shane Wright is considered to be one of, if not the best prospect in the 2022 NHL draft. And his rookie season so far in the OHL this year is comparable to the likes of guys like Connor McDavid. So, how well really is he playing in the OHL this year? And what should we expect from him in the future? Watch till the end and subscribe if you're new. Now, the Canadian Center has a lot of hype towards his name. He was granted exceptional status by the CHL, meaning that he could play in the OHL as soon as 15 years of age. And so far, he's done that. In his rookie season, he's been absolutely brilliant. And at 15 years old, he doesn't look like a 15 year old. He's 6 foot 183 pounds. He's taller than me, and I'm like three months away from being 17. But being born in January 2004, being a 15 year old, has not stopped the guy from being amazing in the OHL this year. In 24 games as a 15 year old, he's got 14 goals, 11 assists for 25 points, being over a point per game. Now, this is absolutely insane. You don't see many really draft year players being over a point per game in the OHL. It's a pretty hard thing to do. We don't see it that commonly. But Shane Wright at age 15 has been able to dominate the OHL so easily. It's almost been a smooth transition from the midget hockey league that he was in just last year. This year he's been full time in the OHL and has been full time a dominant player for Kingston. Now I wasn't expecting too much for Shane Wright this season. I was expecting maybe a half point per game, especially on a pretty bad Kingston team. And even if he got half a point per game, I thought it would be a success. And then the next year he can build on that, be over a point per game, and be a very solid player. Look towards the 2022 NHL draft. But this year he's just been absolutely amazing. He's accelerated my expectations and has been simply fantastic. Now comparing his 25 points in 24 games to Conor McDavid's rookie season in the OHL, it's pretty favorable for Wright right now. Now, with the Erie Honors in the 2012-2013 season, Connor McDavid in his rookie OHL year played 63 games, had 25 goals, 41 assists for 66 points. And comparing that to Wright's numbers right now, that's not looking too bad. Now, not just comparing the points, but with the points per game, it also is very favorable for Shane Wright. Now, Shane Wright currently sits at 53rd in point per game in the OHL so far this season with a 1.05 point per game. Comparing that to Conor McDavid's rookie season in the OHL, by the end of the season, he sat at 36th overall with a 1.05 points per game. So Shane Wright just below Conor McDavid, but if you're just below Conor McDavid in anything, you're usually a pretty great hockey player. And just thinking about what he could be able to do in his draft year, because we realistically have two and a half more years of him in the OHL. The rest of this year, then the 2021 year, and of course his draft year in 2022. We saw Conor McDavid, he was over a point per game in his rookie year, then got 99 points the next year, and then 120 points in his draft year. I don't think Shane Wright is going to be that good, but I think we can expect well over a point per game next year, and likely at least 100 to maybe 110 points in his draft year. He could be that dominant, and likely will be that good. And with the stats that he is putting up right now, he should 100% be the frontrunner for the first overall pick. The best competition, in my opinion, is Matthew Savoy, but he hasn't exactly had the greatest WHL season this year. I think he has like three assists in nine games, which for a 15-year-old is still pretty impressive, but obviously not Shane Wright numbers. On honestly, Brad Lambert, who will likely go third overall in 2022, the Finnish stud, has been amazing in the Junior ASM Liga, but still, not to Shane Wright's level at this point. And it's really a bigger gap because with the 2022 draft, the top three, the big three is what will be the big storyline. But Shane Wright seems to lead at this point and by a pretty healthy margin. And for me right now, I kind of almost have to have him as my number one in 2022. And this is coming from a guy who was a big Matthew Savoy fan, having him over Shane Wright, having him over Brad Lambert as my number one guy for a while. But it's in the stats, it's in the production, and so far Shane Wright has had that. And of course, there is still a bunch of time for this to change, but Shane Wright at this point has a trajectory of Conor McDavid-like stats, and we can't ignore that. For a team that's that bad in Kingston, Shane 
Dean Wright has been so special and has been one of the league's been the league's youngest player and has been one of the better ones so far this season. I don't think this trajectory will continue. I don't see him being over a point per game for the rest of the season, but being just below or even point per game is a huge success for a guy like Shane Wright. And at age 15, those stats, again, are comparable to guys like Connor McDavid, which just that by itself is super impressive. But jumping the gun on these situations can still be a scary thing. I remember in Timothy Lilligren's draft year, there was quite a few people that saw him as the best player in the draft, just like a couple of years before it. But the draft came, and of course, he had mono and all that different stuff, which dropped him down outside the top 15. And situations can happen like that. It's still three years away from that draft right now. It's super early to tell. But with Shane Rice's production, he should go first overall and right now is the number one guy in 2022. But while I don't see that production continuing, I don't see him being above a point per game in his 15-year-old season, I really am wishing the best of luck towards him because the 2022 draft is looking absolutely phenomenal. As an 03 board, as a 2021 guy, it's going to be freaking weird to see the 2022 draft just be so dominant and see all these 04 birthdays do so well. Shane Wright deserves to be in that category as one of the best prospects we'll see in a while. And the 2022 draft with him, Matthew Savoy, and Brad Lambert looks super bright right now and looks super exciting. But that'll be it for today's prospect analysis. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think of Shane Wright and his insane production in the OHL this year. What do you think about the comparables to Sidney Crosby, Connor McDavid, and all these different things? And who do you see going first overall in 2022? Do you see it being Shane Wright, Matthew Savoy, or even Brad Lambert? But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, y'all should click on this card right here to watch my 2020 NHL draft playlist with all my 2020 draft coverage right in one place. But that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on Shane Wright's insane OHL season and what your thoughts are. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Get the word out there that Shane Wright is pretty good at this hockey thing. I'm Nathan, and I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Goodbye.